The big story at five, the ball is in the legislature's court. How will a new arena for the Milwaukee Bucks be paid for? The question isn't whether state lawmakers will help build a new arena. The question is how much of the total bill will fall on the state and how much the city and county will kick in. Charles Benson is live in Madison to tell us what's going on right now. Charles. Yeah, right now, no simple answers to all those questions. The, there's no deal yet, but they agreed to keep on talking. The sticking point is what you mentioned, how to pay for half of the New Bucks Arena. We all know the former and current owners have put up $250 million. The team wants taxpayers to fund the other $250 million. In simple terms, the framework of the financing deal has Milwaukee County and City borrowing up to $220 million from a state agency, acting like a bank. The city and county, with help from the state, would pay back that loan. But here's the problem. Not all sides agree on how to split the bill. I mean, I didn't hear anything in there that wasn't a topic that hasn't already been discussed in some form. Uh, but, um, you know, trying to get the county, the city, and the state in the right place is basically what we're doing. We all have to be respectful of our, of our taxpayers, and we all have to recognize that this is something where we have to work together. So we're, we're pleased. It was a good meeting. So a good meeting and a good start as they've been talking for uh, several weeks now about this. They continued. They decided to continue talking again tomorrow. In the room was, as you saw, the mayor, the county executive, as well as Republican leaders and representatives of the governor's office. Also the team president for the Milwaukee Bucks here as well. We're live in Madison. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Sounds like a little progress, but a lot of work yet to be done. Thanks, Charles.